Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. I have got a really cute beach themed She Modern Nail Art to show you today, so I hope you like this one. So um, let's just get into it. Um, let's get started. Okay, so today I'm using my um, teal sandals, water decals, so you have to remove um, this film that covers the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a little strip here. Let's see. Um, I, I think I want these two because I think they'll be facing inward. I hope so anyway. <laughs> Um, so you're going to cut these out and then what you want to do is you want to um, cut around the image as close as possible because these are on like a little clear film. It doesn't really, um, you don't really notice the clear film once you get it on your nails and you cover it, but um, you just want as little of that as possible. So I'm going to cut those two out. So there we have it. I have two and they're facing the way I want them. Oh boy. <laughs> there we go. I got them picked up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a couple dots of water here. This is um, my favorite way to get them to release from the paper because they're not floating around in a cup. So they'll just come right off when they're ready, which usually takes about a minute or less. That's not ready yet. Okay. Okay, so these slid right off the paper, so they're ready. So I'm going to take a little stamper that I have um, that I use for these, and I'm just going to flip it over. like this. Okay, and then I'm going to blot them dry with a paper towel. They're all nice and dry because I'm going to color these in. Okay, so I'm going to try coloring them in with a gel, a mood gel. So I picked the one that I thought I had closest to the outline color and it's going to turn into a darker green and I'm just pushing it off onto a little piece, a scrap of um, tin foil so I can just wad it up and throw it away when I'm done. I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so I have a teeny brush right here and I am just going to fill in The little flip flops. There, I think that looks really cute. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other one and cure it and come back. Okay, those are cured. So next I'm gonna take um, Snow Ice, the lacquer, out of my um, Wave Gel gel polish set. And I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm just going to put it on the back of, um, of these little flip flops just so that they're a little bit more opaque um, because I'm not sure if they'll be too sheer to um, I'm not sure if they'll be too sheer when I get them on my nail with the design I'm going to do. Um, also I'm using the regular polish because I don't want to get it too thick. So I'm not sure how two um, coats of gel is really gonna, that's really gonna work out real well. So I'm just doing this. 
I just get them to look a little bit more opaque and completely beautiful. I'll be using Wave Gel Space Gel and Shiny No Clean Top Gel. And I'll be using Misty Blush and Soul's Chill Out. Misty Blush is going on my ring finger and I like to do that first because I don't want to accidentally forget that my ring finger was going to be a different color and, and I'm painting it with the other ones because that has happened. Then I have to repaint the whole thing. So there we have Misty Blush, which, I don't know, there's some fur on my fingernail, lovely. <laughs> Next, I'm going to paint everything else with Soul's Chill Out. And sometimes I would do my thumb the same as my ring finger, but my thumb is really badly broken the nail so um you know we're just not gonna mess with that it's just gonna be blue can be pretty when it decides to grow all right so i'm just gonna finish this up off camera and um, come back for the second coat okay so now we're going in with the second coat so as you can see under the lamp it already started changing into the warm color I do love me a good mood color in the summer. Okay, now we're going to put on Misty Blush and hopefully I won't get any fur on it this time. Or whatever the heck. Always thinking on my nails lately. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to cure this. Okay, so now I'm going to add some Jelly's Fairy Dust, which I completely love. Actually, it looks like this color is going to need a third coat. So I'm going to add a third coat and come back. Okay, so now we get to add the fairy dust. And I already top coated um, these two fingers right here. So the fairy dust is going on um, my pointer finger, my pinky finger, and my thumb. Fairy dust is a gorgeous holographic topper by China Glaze. And it comes in gel and regular polish so i was really excited about that this is my all-time favorite holographic topper okay so today i'm going to use my gel stamping polish by moira and i have my winstonia beach please plate and I got my designated queen stamper from Walmart that I only use with gel stamping polishes now. Because it kind of gets goopy. so cute okay so i'm gonna put this little beach design right here on my nails right now i'm regretting not using liquid latex all right so i have to get all of that stuff off my fingers right now okay i've already cured it just for 10 seconds and oh i'm going to take this beautiful um brown bronze um, stamping polish from She Modern. Oh, not stamping polish. Oh my goodness, it's glitter. <laughs> and I'm going to um, I put liquid latex on because I remember what a big mess I had trying to get this out of the crevices of my nails. And I am just going to. I think I can just tap this around. And it will stick to the stamping polish. And yes, it did. That is really cool. OK, 
Okay, so that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to pick off the liquid latex now and um, come right back. Okay, that turned out pretty good and it's supposed to resemble sand, so I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I am just going to put a top coat on that and cure it and we'll come back for the rest of the design. Okay, so now I'm going to use Frye by Twinkle Tea. And I'll be using this image on my Beach Please plate. And I have um, my other Queen Stamper, um, just my regular one that I use with normal stamping polish. I love this image right here. It looks so awesome. Picks up really great. And I'm just going to put that right here. And again, oops, I had no liquid latex. Oh my goodness. I'm going to top coat this. Um, because I'm going to stamp something else over the top and if I make a mistake, I do not want to mess up my perfect water. Okay, so now I'm going to use my Summer Ajubis Plate Set. I used this side once, but I haven't used this side yet. Okay, and I'm going to use this palm tree right here and what I have is hit the bottle. Um, see what I green. Lost my scraper there for a second. Sorry about that. Oh, good. So I picked up the palm tree pretty good. Just going to take some tape and remove the parts of the palm tree that I don't want. I'm going to do it in two colors. And then I'm just going to kind of put the palm tree right there. There we go. And next, I'm just going to get the stem, and I'm going to be using my Moira Dark Brown Stamping Polish. I'm going to scrape that and remove everything but the tree trunk right here. There we go. Just gonna put that coming out right here. Perfect. Okay, now our little flip flops should be ready. So I'm just going to put one right here. Oh, that looks so cute. And look at that. It changes color. That's pretty awesome. And the other one I'm going to put right there. So here is the finished look when all of my fingernails are warm. So let me get them cold. And here they are. Oh, I can't get it to stay cold. <laughs> Let me try one more time. The flip-flops are. The rest of them won't. And here they are real quick before they're going to turn again. This is about the best I can get. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.